let me introduce Frank McMahon, Mullins' uh, chief engineer and CTO. There's a little redundancy in, in, in the structure. It's liquid cooled and heated uh, to provide optimal performance in, in, in pretty much all weather and all weather conditions. The way that the T-Pack is set up with the eight modules in the back, it pushes the weight distribution slightly to the rear. It's 53 rear, 47 front, which is pretty good for, for, for a vehicle of this design. From here, uh, power is drawn to, to dual uh, liquid-cooled E-motors, front and rear, uh, offering a combined total horsepower, offering a combined total output of 430 horsepower. The all-wheel drive K50 uh, comes standard with dynamic torque vectoring. Um, so depending upon the longitudinal force versus your, your lateral resistance, uh, the vehicle will optimally redistribute torque from the front to the rear. When you combine the dynamic torque vectoring uh, with the with the Miele tuned uh, independent double wishbone suspension, that means you get fabulous grip and you get amazing handling. Uh, pretty much all driving, pretty much all driving conditions. All right. Supporting this uh, is a weight-saving all aluminum uh, space frame structure. The space frame structure gets skinned uh, predominantly with a, with a carbon fiber exterior. Uh, the carbon fiber exterior panels, uh, there's 29 of them, they come in weighing approximately 46 kilograms, a little uh, around 103 pounds. Uh, so very lightweight. Um, they also utilize uh, an in, an, an, a baked-in color resin system. That means these exterior panels come out of the mold in color. There's actually no painting of the exterior panels. Also standard is 360 degree panoramic surround view camera system as well as a front heated windscreen. Uh, front heated windscreen is great from an efficiency standpoint for electric vehicles, uh, especially in wintry climates because you know it isn't free anymore when you're an electric, when you're an electric vehicle. Uh, literally topping it off, uh, we have a solar panel. Uh, the solar panel provides the energy to, to provide a climate controlled interior when you are not in the car or when the vehicle, when the vehicle is off. All right, let's uh, take a walk to the inside of the vehicle. Kind of hard for everybody to see maybe on this side, but afterwards you get a, you get a closer look. Uh, there's a great use of materials uh, for a car, befitting a car in this segment. A lot of carbon fiber, um, Alcantara all throughout. Uh, so it's so a very, very nice, uh, very, very nice fit and finish. There is a 15 point, there's a driver focused 15.6 inch infotainment screen. Uh, it's very, it's intuitive, but it has an intuitive, but a very beautiful uh, user, user interface. Um, currently equipped with the latest communication module and also a voice activated 3D navigation system. It's vehicle to vehicle uh, communication you know, incorporates an entire suite of you know, advanced vehicle warning systems as well. And uh, there's uh, and, uh, seats, seats uh, also being covered in Alcantara. They're amazingly sporty and surprisingly comfortable. Uh, you'll also find that there's ample leg room, ample head room, and, and, and quite open vision for a vehicle of this design. The vehicle that you see sitting here on the floor is 100% is, is a full production, 100% uh, in China as we speak. It's on sale already in China. Okay. With a 78 kilowatt battery, mm -hmm. what kind of range are you expecting? Uh, we're, we're expecting to get 200 EP, EPA rated with the 78 kilowatt battery. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Zero to 60. Zero to 60 right now is 4.2 seconds. Mullen will homologate and assemble this vehicle in the United States for sales beginning in 2020. That's all I have. Thank you. <laughs> Wee Ping Zhu, who's a master programmer, the guy that created our advanced battery management systems and wrote all the source codes, been with us from day one. Wee. And Sean Hughes, who's our president of our flooring and retail automotive operations, who's here is one of the most knowledgeable guys in our dealership network in our expansion of our retail operations on uh, national level and again I want to thank you and